Hello YouTubers, what is up? CD Mangaka here. I'm bringing you some Modern Warfare 2 commentary. Uh, this time it's a Mercenary Team Deathmatch. I know I haven't uh, posted up a Deathmatch in a while. I've been going a little crazy in the free-for-alls, and for good reason too. And I'm, uh, I'm going to use the commentary right here. It's uh, another favela game, and so of course I destroy a lobby. Um, <laughs> my final score is 24-3, and three, which um, for a Deathmatch means the requirement post for YouTube, which is over 20 kills and at least a 5 KD. I just like the 5 KD because that means at least I got my Predator Missile at some point. Usually, usually. Tar 21 still, but I have a terminal game coming up where I actually use the Scar H, but I've recently gone back to using the Tar 21 because I just need the clip size. A YouTube user whose name totally escapes me right now, I'm sorry dude, but I know who you are, if that makes any sense. Um, and, you know, you said, you know, if you use other guns it might push you over the edge, and what he meant was like, might get you more people because people look up gameplay with certain guns, but to me that kind of like, I don't think that will work for me because I don't put up the tags of the gun I use in the video, and so if you put up like Scar H, nothing's going to show up, I don't put it in the title or anything, and so searching for the stuff like that is more or less pointless. But I do try and find variety in my gameplay, it's just what, in order to use other guns, I kind of almost have to shuffle up my classes a bit, because there are a few guns in this game that I can compete with the other guns on stopping power. The Tar 21 and the, the Tar 21 being one of them, and the Scar H is also one of them. Both of them have a significant amount of damage in order for that a person like Cold Blooded can drop a guy just as fast as a dude using something like an M4A1 with stopping power. But um, the Scar H's clip size it's a little too big for me, uh, it's a little too small for me. Excuse me, it's only got 20 shots, and uh, I don't really have good control over it. And I could run up to situations where. I just need my stinking primary to kill everybody in the room. Uh, that's why I use the Tar 21. It's just because of that, you know, bigger clip size. If I could have extended mags and a silencer on the Scar H, I would be totally in thrilled to do it. But that means I'd have to give up my scavenger and run with something like Bling, which might not be too bad. I just like my scavenger. And since I don't really change up my class setup at all because I'm comfortable with the setup, I do well with my setups. I don't like to experiment with playing styles too much. And even, you know, if it means, you know, like a different change in the YouTube views or something, but, uh, I do have some gameplay with different guns. I'm um, recently dropped the FAMAS and begun using the M16 again, uh, which I did, actually I did pretty well with, I was surprised, uh, with stopping power, the thing's a beast, but without it, and if you're using the iron sight, and if you have a little bit of a lockdown accuracy, it does take a couple bursts to kill a guy, but it's nothing, it's nothing that bad. I do have some pretty sweet gameplay with it, I'm not gonna reveal what it is yet. Because I figure, you know, why not as well surprise you with it? Why? Because it's awesome. Uh, let's see. Now, I think, let's see, so I have changed my setup, my setup a little bit. I'm trying to think right now of what else I could do. What else I needed to do. Discuss, if you will. I'm, uh, the different game types I play, well, <laughs> it's a weird thing. It's just like, it's hard for me to do deathmatch now that I've been doing really well in the free-for-all world. Uh, just because in deathmatch, you know, there's teammates. Now that I have a problem with other guys who can kind of, you know, pinpoint where the other guys are and I can use his bait, but it's just that I don't like to lose games. You know, and there's a point, you know, because, I mean, it's just like... When, when a team loses, you know, everybody who's on that losing team is demoted to, you know, you guys lost. You know, there's no looking down at the leaderboards and going, oh man, that guy was good. No, it's just like, ha, they all lost, look at that. And so, you know, whereas if you win, everybody kind of gets remarked. You know, as for like, oh, wow, that was a, dang it, man. Dang it. And I'm, uh, some sort of mentality like that. And with a team and mercenary team deathmatch with most of the Modern Warfare 2 players in the community, if I, I get pit on the the horrendously bad team a lot, and that just leaves that me with very, some lack of uh, team support, which in deathmatch is sort of kind of essential. I mean, you know, I granted that, you know, I do get kills on my own, and for whatever reason, I can, whenever I play with them, uh, fans of mine on Deathmatch, we always get our asses more or less kicked. It's just, I think it's just like the solo factor in Deathmatch that I can't, you know, cooperate with the team unless we have some sort of setup going on. But I'm, uh, with, you know, with, 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 and so because of that, I'm just kind of, you know, staying with the free-for-all. I mean, this is like one of the two good Deathmatch games I had out of the couple others that were just absolutely horrendous for me, in a sense. It's just, you know, I can't... I love free-for-all. Ever since I've gone into free-for-all and I have, you know, and I have discovered that the majority of the people there, I can kick their ass and I can also smack-talk them too if 
need be. I mean, there's this one asshole in a game who was shit talking this one kid the whole time. The kid doesn't even have a mic, and no one wants, he's like, no one wants to hear a girly voice. I'm, I'm, th I was ready to get on the mic and say, look who's talking. She's kid. What is wrong with you? Did you get your first pubic hair? Is that what's all the arrogance? Or maybe you're just another Bieber fan. I was ready just to kick the kid's ass. Beat me first, then you can shit talk all you want, motherfucker. Sorry for the, you know, the F-bomb, but I was... My language, when I get off the YouTube, this YouTube mic, it skyrockets to unparalleled. All from a misspent ninth grade with a Jewish kid. <laughs> uh, now that I, I don't have anything against Jews, I have this one good friend of mine who was Jewish uh, for a couple of years, and then last year he actually converted to my religion, and so now I'm like, I don't have any Jewish friends. But he's still kind of funny, he's still cool. In my yearbook, he wrote, I'm writing in your crack, does a tickle. <laughs> oh, he was funny. And he wrote it in, like, the spine of my book, so, crack, okay, so. Um, I guess I should explain that. But, so, uh, I'm trying to get some other debt, you know, game types, you know, and I have this guy, a nemesis, I can't remember the numbers in his name, but I think it's Knoxville. Knoxville sent me a message. And he's like, you know, like, you know, join session, or blah blah, and... You know, Knoxville, I appreciate some of the stuff, but uh, don't message me so often. When I'm gaming, I usually like to be alone unless I get a party set up. And I'll set up a party on my own time and when I feel like it. And also, you know, he's like saying, you know, people love to watch Search and Destroy. Well, I don't like to play Search and Destroy, because playing Search and Destroy solo is absolutely atrocious. Playing any kind of objective-based game solo without a good team is absolutely atrocious. Yeah, I like to have a community game team. I, mean, I tried to get some domination games for you guys, but I kind of fell apart. And I was more or less going for a nuke in some of them, but I was holding down B. But whatever, I mean, I'll try to get some more variety of gameplay for you guys. I'll just have to run with the party more often. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys in uh, some of my other videos.